Hello and welcome back. Today I thought I'd show you guys this, kind of review this. This is a Max Peditions EDC Everyday Carry Pack. Um, you know, there's more and more stuff on YouTube flying around from these doomsday preppers and some of the stuff they have is actually a pretty good idea for the rest of us normal people. This bag I got set up for me to where it rides around in my pickup truck uh, for business, for work for whatever it's always in the truck I've got some things with me and basically stuff that you might need every day hence the everyday carry so I just thought I'd show you what I got in mind and it's still kind of changing as we go but these things are really quite handy when we go fishing I can take it out of the truck throw it in the boat and I got a few extra things that, that might help if you have little minor things happen that you need something so what I've got in mind, a couple of moist towelettes on the outside, because you never know. On the inside, a few more. These things come in handy if you fish and hunt, and you know what you do with those. Then, of course, you got to have your 16 feet of paracord. Now, um, is paracord going to save the world? No, but you know what? If you have a pickup truck and you need to tie something down, it's perfect. I've got a Sharpie. Got to have a Sharpie. Spare pen. Afterbite. If you've ever been bitten by something that swole up and hurt, you need to have this. If you're doing any outdoor stuff, this is great stuff to have on hand. Having the bag to keep everything together helps a lot. Now, you'll laugh at this maybe. A Tide Pen. I'm in business and you know what? Sometimes you get a little something from lunch on your shirt. You need to have one of these and having it handy again. That's something you're going to use every day and that's the purpose of this bag. Tweezers, ever get a splinter? You ever get uh, a splinter on you when you're hunting somewhere away from the house and you go, whoa, I wish I had some tweezers? Well, tweezers in my bag. Now these are just little straws. I've taken needle nose pliers and pinched and melted in with a lighter. And inside of these is a Q-tip with peroxide in it. Where we fish in the Chesapeake Bay, if you get a a cut or jab yourself with a hook or something you should wash it out immediately with peroxide to kill any bacteria there's bacteria in that water that can make you really sick so I started making these up and I've got some scattered in my tackle box I keep them on me all the time in the truck they're real handy to have of course your obligatory first aid items there's some methylate in there band-aids q-tips couple tissues you never know when you need a tissue and you know it's very important that you have a way to open your beer. If you don't have a bottle opener, you should have one of those. On the other side, very handy little Larry light. These things are very bright, as you can tell. And they have a little magnetic clip on the back that swivels. So when you're getting stuff in and out of your truck at night, you can just turn that thing on, stick it to the side of the bed, see what's going on in there. Ibuprofen. There's some other stuff in here too. A couple aspirins, a uh, couple Nexiums in there. If you have any prescriptions, a little portable bottle like this is good to have. Keep stuff handy. Bic lighter, because you never know, just a little mini Bic. I don't smoke, but you never know. Well, maybe an occasional cigar. Fingernail clippers. Now, how many times have you been somewhere and needed a pair of fingernail clippers, had to wait till you get home? Have them. Put them in your in your bag. A little WD-40 pen because there's always seems to be something you wish you could lube up once in a while. There you go. Got that. Pretty easy to carry around. This is a, a little hand sanitizer that says Poop Patrol on it. Came from PetSmart. We have a dog and these little things came in a little kit we had so I snagged one from a pack. This is kind of auxiliary. I keep a big thing of hand sanitizer in the truck but if I were to run out or have a trade show or something, I can grab this out the bag and stick it in my pocket. A couple of produce bags from your local grocery store. These things never have holes in them. Again, we have a dog. We go places. Did you forget the bags? Well, I've got a couple spares in my pack. And i got a few cable ties in here. Just because if you need to tie something up or whatever, they're good for temporary fixes. And that's about it. That's what I'm carrying in mind so far. I kind of call it my everyday carry for normal people. Folds right up. You can throw it in a truck, a glove box, in your boat, whatever. And you've got a few things that might make the day a little better 
from just little minor stuff like a splinter or a cut or something like that. Or you're lucky and you get a deer and you got to clean up after field dressing. You know what? Four or five of these things are worth their weight in gold in your truck. All right, one thing that you guys may notice that's missing out of this pack, if you've seen any of these videos with other people's packs, is some kind of knife. Well, there's a reason I don't have a knife in my pack, because I always have one in my pocket. I carry the Kershaw Oh So Sweet assisted opening, and I have this in my pocket all the time. If I'm not getting on an airplane, which is pretty rare, I've got this knife handy. And there's a review on this knife also on my channel. I'll put a link to that about right here. So that's the only thing you won't see in this pack that you see in a lot of other packs because I always have this knife on me anyway. So with that, get yourself one of these Maxpeditions EDC packs and we'll see you next time.